how to paint the Chinese dragon. Um, the colors I used were cadmium red, cobalt blue, cadmium yellow, acrylic paint, and a touch of titanium white. First, I used a decent amount of water and a bunch of yellow to paint the whole dragon except where I planned to paint it blue. And this I did fairly quickly, keeping in mind I want the yellow transparent enough, thus the water, to be able to see the wood grain underneath. Once I had the yellow painted, um, I went back in before it was completely dry to start the edges. I used just a touch of red and then starting from the outside going in, I added the red to the yellow using again a decent amount of water here, trying to keep it wet. And then I went back in and not adding water to the yellow, put a decent amount on my brush starting in going out, adding yellow to the bottom of the red. And as you can see, it does not look so great at the moment, but we'll fix that shortly. I then took a dry brush. A flat brush will do, but I have this nice fan brush, so I use that. And I blend from the inside going out. And it's okay to add a little bit of yellow if you get a little bit too much red on the inside. Okay, so now that we have the edge blended, I then went in, again using a decent amount of water for the blue. I really wanted to keep this very transparent, again, so that I could see the grain underneath, but also because I use the same blue without darkening it with another paint color on top. And this, you really want to wait for the yellow to dry before you do this so that it doesn't bleed along the edges between the blue and the yellow. Okay, and once that blue, that first layer of blue was dry, I went in with a smaller brush. I added just a very small amount of white to the blue just to give it a little bit of opacity without making the blue a lighter color. And I then painted the scales on top. And then finally, once everything had dried, I added just a touch of white to the end of my brush. And I used this to highlight the scales, to make them stand out a little more, to add the details of the teeth and the claws. And I thought that the blue scales looked too different from the yellow blending. So to blend the two together, to make it more seamless, I added little white scales overlapping the blue scales onto the yellow, having less scales the farther I went out into the red. And that is how I painted the Chinese dragon. Have fun!